Hi guys, Tess here. Quick challenge for you. Try to find the pattern with what I say next. If I eat all of my dinner, then I'll get dessert. If I don't look where I'm going, then I'll probably bump into something. If I code my robot puppy, then I can solve the mystery. Did you notice the pattern? If blank, then blank. This is an example of what is called a conditional statement. All that means is if something happens, something else will happen because of it. Again, if blank, then blank. Conditional statements, or if-then statements, are used in coding all the time, but you can find them in a lot of other places too. Hi again guys, so this here is my real dog and his name is Braxton. Say hi to the camera, Braxton. That's, that's not where it is. That's not also where it is. That's okay. So for those of you who have pets, uh, particularly dogs, you can actually make a lot of conditional statements about them. Uh, for instance, for this little dude, if I say the word food or treat, then Braxton will do this. Braxton, treat. almost every time. If I say the word sit, then Braxton will do this. Sit. <laughs> Good boy. Almost every time. If I say the word walk, then Braxton will do this. No, it's okay, buddy. He thinks we're actually doing it. I'm sorry, dude. Braxton. Walk? Walk? Do you want to go on a walk? Oh boy, yay! almost every time. And I can make a lot more conditional statements about my dog, like when I use the words mommy or bubbles or squirrel, but I think you get the idea. So what about you? What kind of conditional statements can you make about your pets? Or if you don't have a pet, where else could you use conditional statements? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and to check out Nancy Drew Codes and Clues, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Say bye, Braxton. He doesn't care.